Greetings everyone. My name is Luke Bryan Smith. I am live and I'm part of the Consciousness Creator Summit. Today will be the uh, last show of the month of, for the month of January for this Consciousness Creator Summit and I'm very happy to uh, be here today and I'm and I thank each and every one of you that are here with me. Before we get started, I'm going to try to share this onto my page. So if you bear with me a, a moment while I do this, I appreciate it. So that I can find myself. All right, I think this is me here. Hello, everyone. Okay, let me see if I can share this into my page. Share. Here it is right there. I'm gonna type in I'm live. Just a second. And I'll try to share it to my uh, public figure page as well. See if it'll let me share that. Uh, share to a page. Let's see. Enlighten and power. Yes. Thank you for bearing with me a second here. While I share this out. All right. That, that, that about does it. Again, uh, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well, depending on what part of the world you're in. Night, evening, morning, afternoon. Hello, Ali, I see you. How you doing? Cindy Daniels. Lisa, how are you doing? Tony Doyle, I see you there. How are you, man? Appreciate you showing up. Appreciate you being here, spending time with me. Allowing me to uh, share with you. Uh, again, my name is Luke Bryan Smith. I'm part of the Consciousness Creator Summit. For those of you that don't know me, I create self-empowerment music, which is music that's intended to uplift you, to keep you focused, to help you to focus on all that is uh, supportive of your, your inner peace and your well-being to help you. And that reminds me of what I'm going to be talking about today, which is strength. And I feel that my music helps to uh, enforce strength and helps you to recognize the strength within yourself because that's ultimately where you gain strength from is yourself. Before I get started as well, I would like to uh, take this time to recognize and thank uh, Ali O'Shea for putting this on this wonderful summit together. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate her reaching out to me and making me a part of this. I, I will forever uh, remember this. Um, it has really helped me with my public speaking because I've shared with you, uh, many of you before, that I'm, I've been more comfortable with, with uh, behind the mic and sharing through my music, the music that I'm inspired to create as to uh, in regards to the self-empowerment that I learn and things I learn through books and through life. I, I tend to, to be able to express it a lot better uh, create creatively through the music that I create. And this has just given me another avenue uh, to also share what, what I learn and to share with you all and learn from you as well. So I appreciate uh, Ali O'Shea and uh, we'll have to talk later about her uh, putting something like this together in the, in the future. If, if any of you agree, uh, bug her. Don't bombard her email or anything like that, but just give her a nudge and let her know that how much you appreciate it and uh, how much you would like this, uh, something like this to, to uh, occur in the future. And I also want to say thank you to all the other consciousness creators for the amazing job that they did. Uh, Colette, Vivian, Tony, Sheb, Ali, Jason, and myself um, for us just working together and doing such a wonderful job in different aspects and perspectives of, you know, just things that are, that are here to uh, help us and, to enhance our lives, I appreciate it very much, and just am thankful for being a part of this. Cindy Daniel, how you doing? Joel, Narel, I see you. Thanks for showing showing up and being here with me and sharing this time with me. So, so again, uh, let's. I want to talk about strength. Now, I'm not talking about 
physical strength, uh, so to speak, but mental in it in strength in here. Although physical strength, you know, is is an asset too. And I believe in in aligning everything, your your mental, your physical strength. You know, we want to keep ourselves mobile. So I believe in, you know, exercise a little bit. You know, even if you uh if you just take a walk or just movement, you know, you, you want to move around. And if you're un unable to walk, just move your arms around, you know, just keep moving and, and just anything that to help you, uh, you know, just get that blood flowing and just your health, health. And, um, you know, you don't have to do it all at once, but start taking charge and watching what you eat. You know, you want to feed your, your body some good food and things that are going to that are going to really help you. So, um, yes, I believe in, in keeping our body, our tempo, which is our tempo, keeping that very, keeping that healthy as well. So what I believe about strength is what I've come to realize is that most, if not all of our inner strength comes from the things that we go through, from the experiences, from the adversities that we face in life. And oftentimes when we're when we're going through these things, whether we're going through, we've been through them, you know, before in the past or we're going through it now, you know, we all we often uh, take that as unpleasant. And what I found, what I've come to realize is that we need to actually embrace it, not saying that you you're wishing and, and accepting and wanting bad things to happen to you. That's not what I'm saying. But if something is occurring anyway, and a lot of times we're drawing to us our experiences and I've come to realize that as well but to gain different uh, perspectives on what is happening because if it's going on anyways you might as well uh, change your mindset about it and and like I've spoke before use it as a as an asset to you you know learning seeking the lessons and it takes a lot to you know it, it it's a it's an ongoing process to develop, you know, strength, especially through, you know, adversity and things that we may not necessarily, you know, see at the time or want to occur in our lives at that time. And I can tell you for from uh, my perspective that I've gained tremendous strength through adversities that I faced and things that I probably wouldn't have wouldn't have uh, come to realize or or known or learned about myself because I I believe that the key to to inner strength is knowing and loving yourself and how do you really do that is is going through things and then knowing what you can what you can go through and you're still here and a lot of times when we go through things and we lose people I know like me you know I had to go through you know, loss and, and what I what I uh, perceived as failed relationships, failed marriage, uh, times that I don't feel I was a, a great father. I had to go through those things and just not making the, the, the right decisions for myself. I, I believe I had to go through all that so that I can learn from those things and become stronger and more resilient, build my character. Now, you know, I'm learning. I'm still learning. And all of these things, this loss, the sadness and, and and pain has helped me to become more appreciative and more wise and more aware about what I say and think and just I'm able to also just pour out into other people. And I believe that's an element of strength, too, is, is being able to pour out into other people it helps you to feel stronger. I believe that we all uh, ultimately all no matter what journey we're taking, we, we are seeking uh, uh, happiness and, and seeking, you know, relevancy. Like, what is it that we're meant to do in life? And I believe that going through adversities and going through things in life help you to to focus on yourself and figure out what it is that you, your purpose is in life. You know, oftentimes we get, we get uh, caught up in roles you know, uh, as a mother, as a father, as a whatever you might do, you know, for your career. And we forget about really just, you know, learning about ourselves and, and really, really just developing ourselves and, and, and loving ourselves and, and reaching for that inner strength. 
you know. So oftentimes to help me find my inner strength as I'm going through things, I, I, I do a lot of uh, uh, self, uh, a lot of self-talk and affirmations when I'm going through stuff. Now it's, it's not like a complaint when I'm going through something. Instead of complaining that it's happening, I'm asking myself, I'm asking God, I'm asking the universe to reveal to me the lesson within this and to give me the strength to be able to, to make it through it and to become you know, a better person on the other side of whatever I'm going through. So I do that often. So I, I can see that I wouldn't have been that type of person if I didn't go through the things you know, that I've been through or that I'm still going through you know, to, to really, you know, uh, self, self-reflect and, and gain strength and knowledge through whatever I'm going through. And I'll tell you for one thing, one thing about me is that, uh, I found that in the past that I've been very, uh, so to speak, hard-headed because there's a lot of things that I've been through that people would, if you knew everything that I've been through encountered, you would say, you still haven't learned your lesson yet. Yep, it's taken me a long time to learn certain things that I had to do over and over again till I finally got it. And I think that's probably why that my all my hair fell out too. It's to show you how hard of a head that I have. I can, now the world, I can't hide it. Everybody sees I have this big hard head now. <laughs> so, yes, uh it's taken me a, you know, it takes me a little bit longer at times. To receive a message and I believe that we will oftentimes continue to go through the same things until we learn that lesson and learn to embrace that lesson and observe that lesson and grow through that lesson so I changed a lot of what I even say when I when I'm talking about going through something I say grow through it as you go through it grow through it find that lesson that strength and know that there's a purpose if you're here still you're still alive there's a purpose for you. There's a reason why you're here. Everybody has a unique purpose and it's up to you to find it. I can't tell you what your purpose is. And you might say, well, I, I'm not good at anything or, you know, I don't know what my purpose is. And I believe if you, if you, like I said, if you talk to yourself, if you talk to your, your subconscious, if you talk to the universe, talk to God and say, hey, reveal to me what my purpose is. I believe if you're, you're quiet that it will be revealed to you what your purpose is. And I, and I believe that oftentimes our purpose has a lot to do with helping others, especially the, the uh, more adversities we go through. You know, you, you, you have a testimony now, your own unique, and you might be a lot better at going through certain things than I am. So you can share with me, how'd you get through that? And how are you able to still stand here and smile, even though all that happened to you? You know, and, and that right there in itself, even if you share that with one person and empower one person, you found your purpose. And I believe that doors from that will just continue to to open, you know, as you pursue your purpose and as you, you know, you're in line with your, your purpose. I can think of a story even with my own daughter that uh, she says she wants to be a a veterinarian when she grows up. And what I told her was that's great. She wants to help animals, and I think that's wonderful. And I told her, you know, and then we talked about her, you know, going to, to school for it. And I told her, I said, you don't have to wait to go to school to learn about animals. Start gearing your mind towards that right now. Start looking up, and you know, about animals and, and how they work, and just do that on your own. I mean, now, especially now, we have basically a library right at our fingertips with Google. You know, so you can just search all kind of stuff. So I believe that me going through the things I've been through and suffering the loss and, you know, uh, people turning that I felt that I turned their back on me, whether it was my fault or whoever's fault it is, it made me look within. And I think a lot of times when you're going through that journey of, of strength, it'll it, it's often lonely. And it seems like that people that you know, that you were once around are no longer there. And I think it also has to do with the mindset. Your mindset is changing. So you're no longer on the same wavelength as them. Not saying that you're better than them, but you're you're transitioning. So a lot of times that shakes up things and you might have to go out of the lung for a while, you know, and till things develop and, you know, and, you know, the mutual respect and they get to understand what it is you're doing and respect what you're doing, you respect what they're doing and just 
I just believe in the flow of life. And that's oftentimes what happens through this flow of life. You, you shed old energies as you're developing yourself. And um, if that energy is meant to be in your life, it will make its way back around at the right time. So don't lose hope and just because you maybe maybe you had a, a best childhood friend and you guys no longer see eye to eye because of your journey and you no longer talk to them, you know, just keep focusing on yourself. I mean, some people think that sounds selfish, but you have to fill up yourself. So in essence, you, you, you have to be full of yourself, sort of. Now, I'm not saying conceited and looking down on anybody. I mean, full of yourself, fill up yourself with love. That way you can pour out to other people because if you're empty you can't pour out and uh, if you're living a life that other people are imposing on you their opinions and what you should and be then you're really not going to try find your true strength and your true self Melinda how are you yes anything you want to know is on Google you're right a lot of the information that I found is is if I have any questions now you know if I hey what is this and what is this made of I'll just Google it I mean, you don't have to go to the library anymore. I mean, I do enjoy libraries, the, the books and the smell and, you know, just the pages and just the, 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 the serenity and the silence of a library. You, you can't replace that. And but, yeah, you can just Google anything you want to know now and find different perspectives on it and just keep searching until you with the answer that you have. Joel, yes, you can't pour from an empty cup that's right you have to fill yourself up with with love and strength and you know and, and oftentimes you have to go through things before you get that i mean you know i've heard people say uh before that you know they don't they've gotten to the point where they no longer regret everything they've been through and that's kind of a, like i said before i've shared with 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 uh people before that that's kind of still a hard pill to swallow because then you look at certain things you go through and say well I wouldn't I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy going through that well guess what that was what you were supposed to go through to become who you are today that's why you're here and it's part of you what you went through and you take that as strength and don't let it destroy you but let it build you up build you up and make you into the person that you're becoming these things are that happen for you and for you I don't say to you for you to help enhance your life in some ways and I, I really can't interpret everything that happens to a person and I really can't explain and but I know there's some divine purpose within the things that we go through and we it's up to us to find what that is and uh, Cindy Daniel how you doing Tony Doyle we grow through what we go through that's right brother you got it before I keep going I got a special surprise for you all and uh, we just kind of came up with this last minute, but I think it would be great to actually share with you uh, some testimony of someone that's uh, going through something or it's part of their everyday life to go through something that un unthinkable and yet they find the strength to do this every day. And you'll know what I'm talking about in a second. So let me bring on... Uh, Special guest, you want to come in here? Tony, you said you wanted to see what I was gonna come up with, man. I'm coming up with something for you. Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. Um, I already said hello. Hello again. Anyway, this is uh, Karina Sosa, which happens to be my wife, and I thought it would be a, a nice surprise for her to share a bit of her insight <clears throat> of uh with you all with uh, with all of us it's it's helping me too but first of all uh what is it that you do I work for corrections oh, okay so you work for a is that's a as a prison I work in a state prison you work in a state prison now prison wow scary it is scary uh, yeah so is this prison that you work in, is it uh, predominantly male or a female prison? I mean, what is it? It's a male institution. Oh, it's okay. a male prison. It's a male prison. Now, what I want to know from you just telling me that is you being a woman, and believe me, don't take this as I'm being biased because I know women, most women are stronger than us men, okay? 
My mom is a prime example of that, so I know this. Oh, and by the way, I'm five feet tall. <laughs> so, I'm a woman, and I'm five feet tall. So, Allie said, so lovely to see you. Hi, Allie. Hi, Allie. <laughs> Hi, Colette. Yes, Colette. So, like I said, Hi, I, Tony. I know how strong women are. Believe me, I know. But what <laughs> I want to know, and I want you to share, is how do you, first of all, what are some of the things that you encounter and go through uh, working in a place like that? So number one, it's not mostly, you know, physical strength. A lot of it is mental strength. Um, yes, I, fa I passed the physical agility test, and so did my brothers and sisters in green that work with me. Um, a lot of it is, like I said, mentioned before, is physical. I mean, mental. Um, I, every day we walk in with uncertainty. Every day is unpredictable as an officer we're put into a spot of the unexpected. You never know what you're walking in. Every day you know what time you, your shift starts. However, you don't know what time your shift ends. And you have to trust your, your partners, your lives. Uh, you're trusting that your partners have your back. Yes, and someone is there, uh, um, Norell, saying, please confirm that there can be a good life after prison. You want to elaborate on that? Um, what do you think? Well, for me, I can only speak for me in my journey. Do you mean, oh, excuse me, do you mean if there could be a good life after prison working there or as for someone that has been placed behind bars for committing a, a crime, Norell? Well, we can explain to both ways. I, I, I can only speak for myself as, as an employee uh, working there. Yes, uh, it's what you make of it. Um, I find strength at going in on a daily as a self-talk, um, I say my positive affirmations. In the beginning, I did not know what LOA was. So um, I had to, I, it was more of God and my family. Um, and then now knowing what LOA is, it's mostly my motivation, uh, a lot of positive affirmations and, and, um, and keeping myself focused. Um, Norell, <clears throat> for someone who has been placed there, it all depends on them. It's if they want to change, like most of us, do we want to change? It's up to us. It's up to the individual. And that's my personal opinion. Again, it's up to if the person wants to change. Yeah. Yes. And I can speak for the, for, uh, Norell, for some of the stories that she shared with me. I mean, of, of course, there's an element of confidentiality that she can only share with me so much, even being her husband, because what's behind there stays behind there. Um, but she shared with me stories where uh, uh, there was promising, you know, model uh, uh, prisoners were that they could, she could tell that they're going to do something positive with themselves. So there is some positivity in there, too. It's not just all negative what you see in the movies, but there are some people there that are educating themselves and really reforming and um, really uh, paying their debt and being sorry, you know, for what they've done, as well as those who are career criminals who have no intention on changing. So she deals with both of those elements. So can you describe any, without going into too much detail, because I know there's, like I said, there's confidentiality. Can you describe a particular uh, uh, moment where you really had to uh, dig down and, and get some strength and, and, and stand firm and, and either show yourself or someone else there that you're in charge, that you have strength, that, you know. Uh, yes, uh, thinking back to my days as an officer, uh, in the beginning, a lot of it was, uh, for instance, showing them that you, that I was strong, even though, yes, I'm five foot and I am a woman, because a lot of, again, that was a, a all-male institution. Thank you, Ellie. Um, and it's hard for them to hear, um, reminding them of the rules. So for instance, uh, that they broke a rule, for instance, they didn't like some men, uh, prisoners, didn't like for me to, to remind them that, hey, you broke a rule. So they might yell at me, or they might have yelled at me, and call me other names other than my last name particularly one that started with a B word. So I had to remain calm and professional. 
However, you know, I'm a person still, um, and it is hard to find strength at, at those moments, but somehow you have to dig deep into yourself and remain professional and find strength to not lose control and go to their level. So, yes, I, <coughs> I had to find strength every day that I went to work there. And other times, um, for instance, when you saw them attack each other or or when i saw death for the first time there in prison i i know it's kind of it's not the common thing that most people see however i saw things that most people don't see as officers we see things that normal people don't see and that's hard for for me to take home but i've been blessed with a great support system and not only my family, but I have a great husband and that I'm able to talk about it. So for some of my, you know, peers, they might not have that. And um, it's, it's always important to, to talk about it, you know, let it go and find your inner strength. Um, what gives you strength? For me, my strength comes, you know, within God and my family, which is Brian and, and my children. Yes. Great. Thank you for sharing that with, with us all. Wow. See, I, I'm intrigued every time you tell me anything, you know, because I can just imagine what you're seeing and what you're going through. Even as a man, you know, I would be leery about, you know, walking behind those gates with who knows what and just and, 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 and doing what you do every day. But it goes back to what I was saying again. You you, you have to find that that inner strength and, and, you know, talk to yourself. I mean, no one's going to give you that strength. I mean, you can have people help to build you up and affirm, you know, strength, but you basically have to go through things to develop that strength and, and look at it as character building, whatever you're going through and learn from it. You know, don't be the same person that, you know, that was, that dealt with that same scenario last year. Now you're a totally different person. You're able to, to deal with it a lot better because you, you actually went through it. It might've been difficult at the time, but because you went through it, now you're well versed in that and you have experience. Exactly. So in the beginning, you know, it's all a lot about a trial and error, like you've mentioned in some of your lives, you know, take what you like and learn from it. Same applies to the things that work. L learn, take what you like from some of the officers or your coworkers, take what you learn from the academy and apply it to you and make it work for you and take your strengths and apply it to you. Uh, what's going to make it work for your job. Exactly. And Find your strength. Exactly. And with that being said, I would like to share a quote. First of all, if anybody has any questions, well, we'll open up questions at the end. But if you have any questions even now, feel free to, uh, we're, we're no, there's no forum for this, that what I'm doing today. I'm just leaving it open. This is your show. So, I mean, I'm sharing with you about strength. We all have and need strength. And so any questions you need, uh, you have, feel free. Look for the positive aspects. Yeah, grow through what you go through. Yeah. With that being said, let me share a quote with you by Norman Vincent Peale. And it says, problems are to the mind what exercise is to the muscles. They toughen and make stronger. Wow. Uh, make strong. But that is true. It is going through things. I mean, we all, of course, said, no, I don't want any problems. No, I don't want any problems, you know, but they do. They, they, they are helping you. They're helping you develop strength. And uh, my feedback to that quote was, as you change your mindset and perspectives, you learn how to view and use your adversities as assets in regards to your greater good. So I believe that to be true. I've come to realize that it's still something that I'm, I'm very much working on, you know, and I have to constantly remind myself of that. But nonetheless, it's worth it. And uh, I would like to share a song entitled Strength with you as well. Go ahead. Thank you, everybody, for your time. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Karina, for sharing with us. Appreciate it. So let me cue up this song entitled Strength. A 
lot of you have heard it and some of you maybe haven't but it's a song that I often listen to uh, when I'm in need of you know a little extra boost uh, you know of, of strength and to remind me it's something that I uh, that I was really inspired to write and I think the universe I think God really inspired me um, and as well as other people sharing aspects of their lives and just things that I've go gone through as well. So here we go. This is entitled Strength. I understand that the clouds bring rain. I am aware that in life there is pain. You hear that? I realize through this grief there is a lesson. Within the negativity there is a blessing. I won't appreciate it much if it's easy. I am relevant. This world needs me. I let it flow freely. That's right, I let it flow freely. I am aware. I accept it for what it is. What's reflected is gratitude. No resistance, just positive thoughts in an instance. My feelings, my actions, all align what brings satisfaction. This darkness will illuminate when I focus on the now the past dissipates. Strength, perseverance, enduring, overcoming, persistence, focus, consistent, resilience, strength, perseverance, enduring, overcoming, persistence, focus, consistent, resilience, look up to the sky, I hold my head up high, through this pain, through the sadness, I remain steadfast till this gladness. Through this illness, I focus on health. Through this poverty, I focus on wealth. Through this violence, through this war, it doesn't matter, I will still endure. I use the energy to make me stronger. I'm in a place where it hurts no longer. I don't identify with disruption. Don't need anger in my life, no discussion. Don't need adrenaline rush from a conflict. Although that used to be me, I must admit. My feelings, words, and thoughts affect me. Whatever they decide to do, I let it be. Strength, perseverance, enduring, overcoming, persistence, focus, consistent, resilience, strength, perseverance, enduring, Overcoming, persistence, focus, consistent, resilience. Give me strength, perseverance. I will endure, be persistent. I will focus, be resilient, consistent, and overcome. I am thankful for the lessons in my life. I am thankful for the blessings in my life. I am thankful for my inner peace. Remain strong even when I feel weak. No matter how my circumstances may appear, I will not be overcome by fear. Life can be volatile, remain grounded. Don't be limited, be well-rounded. I'm open for a new experience. I'm a better person because of that experience. Through these failures, I am victorious, successful, glorious. Strength, perseverance, enduring, overcoming, persistence. Focus, consistent, resilience, strength, perseverance, enduring, overcoming, persistence, focus, consistent, resilience. Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed that. That really uh, motivates me and inspires me at times that I really need to be reminded of my own inner strength and you know it helps to uh to gear my mind and put those those affirmations and those words in there and into my mind my self-conscious mind and just remind me and i can actually feel the the uh change when i listen to that song you know mm -hmm. lets me know that everything's gonna be all right we're all resilient we're all we all have strength we just have to get in there and dig deep and find it and and get it we have it so thank you and before I go, I would like to say, uh, I want to say a few words of affirmations for us all and, 
if you would just kind of repeat this with me, I would appreciate it. And it's like this. Every cell, nerve, tissue, and muscle of my body is now being made whole, pure, and perfect. My whole body is being restored to health and harmony. Let's say that again. My whole body is being restored to health and harmony. So that's something that I've been saying to myself lately. And I, and I got that from the book that I'm reading, currently reading, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. It was a, an, a, a, a person in there that, repeat, re, that repeated that for a while and watched miracles happen within his body, miracle uh, healing within his body. So I thought that was, I said, well, let me incorporate that because I think we could all use healing in some areas, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, we could all use healing and health. Even if we feel like we're perfect, we want to affirm that and keep that good health. Because I think that's our most valued asset. Without our health, nothing else really matters. So, all right. Angelina, I'm tapping to it. Great. Your songs, Norel, Narel. Your songs always make me think of how many young men should really listen to those words. Yes, it would be nice. <laughs> Thank you. Art, how are you, man? Thank you. Allie, perfect. Angelina, Tony Doyle, health is wealth. That's right. That's our greatest wealth is our health. Because we all know that when we're in a position of ill health, that's all we can really focus on and um it, it it pretty much just uh you know makes everything else invisible when we're struggling through something in regards to our health so anything that we can do to affirm um, affirm uh health i think is wonderful thank you for all spending your time with me and allowing me to talk to you i appreciate it again i want to say thank you to ali o'shea and for creating this and putting this together and thank you for everyone for watching and uh, the other consciousness creators. And I just really appreciate you listening to me and allowing me to share with you and for sharing with me and building me up and, and just helping me and encouraging me. I appreciate that very much. Till next time. Peace.